Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel, The Appearance of Clean. My name is Kelly and I do home and lifestyle videos, cooking, cleaning, and uh, organization. And today I am posting my very first grocery haul. It's just me and my husband here. We have no kids in the house. We, we do have five cats and a dog, so that kind of equals maybe a toddler and a preteen. But other than that, it's just us. But uh, I don't normally stock up on items. I used to a long time ago and I realized it's just not for me, but I've been going to the grocery store so often. It's, uh, it's January 20th and I've probably been to the store 10 days out of the first 20 days of January. I don't know what I'm getting. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so I am uh, starting afresh. I went and got some items today, stocking up on some stuff that I don't normally stock up on, but I am vowing not to go back to the store to, to the 20th of February. So it's a little personal challenge. I can go back for pharmacy and I can go back for fresh fruits and vegetables, but other than that, I'm not doing it. If dinner consists of a banana and a can of beans, then so be it. So let me set it all up. I'm going to spin the camera around and get this, uh, this haul going for you. Uh, if you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you will consider subscribing and hitting that like button. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for supporting me. I greatly appreciate it. So let me get it set up. Thanks everybody. I'm going to go ahead and get started with my cold items because I've got a uh, small curd cottage cheese. I love to eat uh, grapes and cottage cheese. That's one of my uh, favorite, favorite meals that I have all the time. Uh, the purple grapes, the seedless grapes, just cut them in half, eat them with cottage cheese. It is the absolute best. So I always get the small curd uh, cottage cheese. We got some eggs. We got some cage-free uh, eggs. I got two Charles wants me to boil some eggs for him. He loves to snack on hard boiled eggs. So we're gonna get those going. I got, of course I got my ready whip. Actually, I'm gonna put this baby back in the refrigerator right now. Yes, his buddies. I'm not going back for a while, guys. I have to have my ready whip. All right, chorizo. Charles loves to make chorizo and eggs. And also I'm gonna make some egg cups for him. I ordered a uh, silicone egg cup uh, holder for my new Instapot. So I'm gonna be doing some egg cups with him, for him and using this pork sausage, this pork chorizo here. We got some Earl Campbell sausage links, hot links. He loves those as well. And of course I got some bacon. We all love bacon. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it uh, on my videos before, but I have a kidney transplant. I am uh, 11 years uh, post kidney transplant and uh, so as I'm doing this, I'm going to be stopping and starting and putting my cold items back into the refrigerator or freezer. I, uh, more than anything, I cannot afford for this stuff to, uh, A, I don't want to lose the money, but B, I can't afford it to uh, get all nasty. So I got some fat-free pudding cups. We love to snack on these. And the fat-free, they have done so, I'm not fat-free, sugar-free. They've done some amazing things with sugar-free items these days. Uh, you cannot tell the difference, in my opinion. These are great for snacks. We also use the Ready Whip on those as well. Great snacks. Sour cream, I'm going to be making some uh, ranch dip. So I got some sour cream and some mayo. So I love the home, they, uh, I, I call it the homemade ranch. I just don't like it out of the, out of the bottles. My HEB, or all the HEBs, they do these in-house coupons where you buy something and then you get stuff free. Sometimes you get up to like six items free. Today I got the uh, DiGiorno pizzas. You were to buy two. I got the uh, Supreme Rising Crust, uh, yeah, Rising Crust, and the Thin Crust Four Meat Pizza. They were $5 each, so I spent $10 on the pizza. And for free, I got these little disposable pizza trays. Those trays uh, normally sell for $2.77, so I got that free. We got the Hot Pockets for free, which we don't normally eat. And we got drumsticks. I'm gonna put these in the freezer right now. Four drumsticks. I just got the ones with the chocolate, chocolate dip and the peanuts. Uh, and those normally sell for $3.27. So I spent $10 on the two pizzas and got, you know, $8.04 worth of free items. You can't beat that. You, the buy, buy something and get something free, why not take advantage of that? Excuse me, ground beef. I don't know what I'm gonna make with that. I believe it's two pounds, a little, uh, a little more than two pounds. And then I got some more pork chops. The very first item we made in our Instapot was, the, was a recipe that I found online for sour cream pork chops. And this is what I use, the boneless kind of filleted pork chops. They're really thick. 
It was so delicious, everyone. If uh, I will post that recipe down if you have an Instant Pot and you like pork chops. It was so easy and so delicious that we're gonna make those again. They were very, very moist and juicy and they stay juicy. They reheated just as well. It is not a meal that is uh, good for the freezer because um, the pork chop does dry out, but in just keeping it in the refrigerator and eating it over the next couple days and just reheating it in the microwave was delicious. I've got some broccoli and cauliflower. That's good. We had something similar to this last night, but we just put a little bit of the uh, the Velveeta cheese, like a little, a little dollop of Velveeta cheese on there. Those are so good. And even if you just steam them and uh, salt and pepper, a little lemon pepper, lemon juice, whatever, very good. These looked very good. There's not a whole lot in there. But a good, again, good to have around for a quick snack or if you uh, want something other than mashed potatoes or french fries or what have you. And of course your old, your good old standby golden orida tater tots. Well, my freezer is full. I also got some fresh pet for Mr. Buddy. He likes to add this to his crunchy food. Again. These sponges. Buy one, get one free, another in-store coupon. I always, do the, due to the fact that I'm a kidney transplant and I'm immunosuppressed, I always have sponges. I always replace my sponges. Uh, I replace them probably more so than anybody else I know. Another deal that I got at HEB was these, uh, our finest toilet paper rolls. And you got free 409. I love 409, that's a big 409 too, multi-surface. Had this before, always good to have. Of course, it doesn't go bad, so that was a good find. And these, the 409 is not cheap. I'll tell you how much it is, $2.92. So that was another deal I got there. Monsters, my husband likes monster drinks. I went ahead and got him two of these cases. Since I'm not going back. Uh, what did I buy? Oh, I bought these uh, wipes. We like to use those uh, in the bathroom as well. Of course, never flush them, just a little tip. And uh, it came with a free distilled or purified baby water. Um, I put something on that in the uh, cart and it squished it, but it's fine. Well, you, we can use this in the coffee maker or uh, what have you, but I got that free. That was like 99 cents, I think. So not a huge deal there, but again, free is free. Oh, my cheese. I got some uh, shredded cheese. We go through cheese quite a bit. We put it on everything. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the fridge now. I'm gonna, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and go over my fruits and vegetables. So I've got some baby carrots. That's going to be a great snack uh, with my ranch dip that I'm going to be making. I bought some celery to cook with and to snack on because I got some pimento cheese. Uh, Charles got some bananas, just three bananas. He loves bananas and peanut butter. I got some russet potatoes, cooking potatoes. I got a couple of limes to uh, do with some chicken. And I got Charles some uh, sweet potatoes. Three, but uh, maybe four. Three, but they are huge. I don't normally buy sweet potatoes, but these are monsters. So. There you go. What else did I get? Oh, egg yolks. I got egg yolks and I think I had a uh, coupon on the Ibotta for the egg yolks. Love those. Those are great with the pork chops or uh, any chicken. Got some triple C batteries. I'm sorry, triple A batteries. Stocked up on my olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. Got some tomato paste in a tube. I have never... I see this all the time on the cooking channel, but I've never tried it. So I wonder how much is in there. Anyway, I'm gonna try that. Mustard, I had to get mustard. We're totally out and I had made some pigs in a blanket yesterday using some uh, sausage and some biscuits. And when we went to eat them for breakfast, there was no mustard. I didn't have anything for ranch. It was, it was a nightmare. <laughs> I got some uh, sugar-free syrup. I went ahead, I have a little bit left in the pantry. Sugar-free syrup, again, they have come a long way with sugar-free items. This is not bad at all. However, it's very thin, so you'll go through it pretty quickly. Um, we usually have uh, some uh, sort of like, you know, frozen waffles that we'll heat up every once in a while. Uh, we don't eat syrup that often. Chato beans, H-E-B brand, these are good. Got us some refried beans so we can make us some uh, refried bean tacos and uh, either with egg or cheese. 
I've got some crushed uh, tomatoes and some whole tomatoes. I think I'm going to make my mom's um, spaghetti sauce that freezes fantastic, but it's also a fantastic sauce to put on spaghetti, any pasta really. And I've got some tortellini in the freezer that we need to use. I got two uh, jars of uh, the uh, Giorgio mush uh, mushrooms. I got the whole and I got the sliced. I like adding those to all kinds of things. Um, I've been trying to get rid of my canned vegetables, but my husband wanted me to get some canned vegetables just because they're easy to open and heat up when we make stuff. So I just grabbed the green beans. I didn't get anything else. I like the cut green beans. He likes <laughs> the French green beans, so we go. We compromise and get what I want. Mustard, oh, mayonnaise. Uh, I got me some Splenda for my coffee. I just got old fashioned cooking oats. My husband likes to make uh, oatmeal in the morning sometimes. And I'm thinking about making my mom's Ranger cookies, which is oatmeal. Uh, they're like oatmeal cookies, but they also have like cornflakes in them. And I didn't buy any cornflakes this time, but uh, I think I have some time to, uh, oh no, I already have some. I already have some cornflakes. So I'm gonna make uh, Ranger cookies, maybe for Valentine's Day. We're getting together at my brother's house for our family game night. And uh, I'll, I'll take some cookies and maybe some Buckeyes or something. All right, here's my coffee. This is my drug of choice here. This is the uh, Cafe Ole HEB brand, Texas Pecan. Uh, all their brands are really quite tasty, but this is the one I've kind of uh, fell in love with. And so that is, again, my drug of choice. Got some dry eye, eye drops. Um, this, I bought this individual one. It was $3, but again, I thought it was something I was gonna get a discount on on my Ibotta. And uh, I scanned it, It's you know, it matched it up to the um, health drink or whatever they called it. And when I got home and, and did my Ibotta stuff, it was saying that it was not uh, usable. Anyway, here's the uh, Premier Shakes in the little uh, carton. We, we love the Premier Shakes. We got hooked on those whenever I had the surgery. Uh, we like the chocolate. Uh, by itself uh, and we use the the caramel and the vanilla in coffee we can make a protein coffee if you've never done that it's fantastic it's just you know heat you up a, a nice big cup of coffee and add um, one of the premier shakes again chocolate is fine if, if you like chocolate but again the caramel and the vanilla are the best you add that to your uh, yeti cup or a similar cup and then you pour in the coffee I usually pour some back out into a cup and then heat it back in the microwave because once you add the coffee to the the uh, shake, it does cool it down quite a bit. And then, of course, I top it off with some Ready Whip, and it is a phenomenal protein coffee. It's a great meal. It's a great um, uh, end-of-the-day meal as well, breakfast or end-of-the-day. So I got these. I did have a little coupon on Ibotta for these, so I, I got that. I think it was $0.25. Cents. This one it did not allow me to take. I got me some gum. Here is my giant pod pack of Tide and it was uh, on Ibotta, it was supposed to be $5 any, you know, any size, oh, not any size, but any uh, variety of the Tide. So I grabbed this one and then when I got home, it wouldn't let me accept it because it was from a 12 pack to 42 pack and I got the 96 pack. You would think that that's better. Anyway, I have detergent for days. All right, everybody, so that kind of wraps up my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I do have a lot of things already in my pantry and in my freezer, so I know that was a lot of random stuff, but I have stuff to make <laughs> recipes, I promise, so we should be okay. I already had some eggs, I already had some bread, I already had some other stuff, so wish me luck. I'll keep you posted on what we're eating. Maybe I'll do a couple of what's for dinners and, uh, uh, and such. So have a wonderful week, everybody. Thank you.